Looking for a fun, new, exciting way to play fantasy sports? Make sure to check out FanDuel. Use code BENGAL at sign up for a $20 deposit bonus when you enter that code. It is the best and most fun way to play daily fantasy sports. I know I play fantasy football for the daily fantasy sports all the time. I can't really handle the grind of the season. So this is just the best way and the most fun way for me to play any type of fantasy sports. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. And FanDuel is just absolutely the best. So make sure to use code BENGAL at sign up. $20 deposit bonus. And also, if you guys want to check out my second and third channels for other videos and games you might see with some of your other favorite YouTubers that I collab with. Make sure you check that out. Both links are in the description. What's going on, guys? Ben Gleaton here coming back at you with another video today. Back on Giants franchise featuring Odell, Saquon. And last week, if you guys watched the end, I told you to tell me who do you think is the best player on this defense? Because, you know, overalls or whatever. But it's kind of about in-game performance more so than that. And I don't know. I, I'm recording these back-to-back, -back, so I have no idea what you said. And if you didn't watch and you didn't hear that, what the heck, dude? What the crap, man? Anyway, we have the Bengals today and some scouting points to spend. But first, we're going to upgrade some players. Landon Collins has a skill point. We got a, gun, a bunch of guys who do. And where do we want to improve him? Got to be zone coverage. 90 is good, but like 99 would be better. Hybrid would give us not what I want. We're going to go zone here. Doesn't boost his overall. Hopefully zone goes up though. Plus one to speed and zone coverage is huge. 90 speed now for Landon Collins. So with regression, I don't think he can ever drop below 90 speed. Which I'm not sure if that will ever come into play here. He has 26, so that would probably start happening around 28. I'm not sure how long this franchise is going to go. As I think I want to get Roman Pugh. We've been doing a bunch of like run stuffing things. We're going to go into Power Rusher. Boost him up to a 93. Give me plus two. I'll take a plus one, I guess. Uh, his block shutting is okay, but I really need him to get after the quarterback more. He needs to be an elite pass rusher. He's, he's close. Lorenzo Carter, we're going to go run stopper. Hopefully get him fitting the scheme at some point. Plus one to block shed, hit power, pursuit, strength is, is all right. Still more of a speed rusher than anything, even though we never blitz him. And then Julius Manning, it's not even a question. We're going into zone. He's got great tackle, great pursuit, great hit power, great speed and acceleration. Block shed's fantastic. He's like a linebacker. He really is. Except, uh, how big are you? 5'11", 224. That's a small linebacker. We're going to go into zone. Doesn't boost his overall. Only plus one to zone coverage is, is brutal. Gets it to a 75. And then Tyrus Charlton, we drafted. He's actually not terrible. He's like another linebacker, essentially. 6'3", 218. He's pretty light. For a linebacker we're gonna go in his zone coverage probably shouldn't have considering he's gonna be a special teamer but i guess we get play rec awareness boosts like the <laughs> the most useless thing for actual in-game performance we've been checking out a lot of pass rushers i'm gonna continue to look at offensive line and that's gonna be the offensive guards in this class that we could potentially take Ross Farrier actually looks pretty good. Doesn't fit. Or he does fit the scheme. Oh, that's actually not bad. Ross Farrier out of Nebraska. You guys, if you've been watching the series, you know. We have drafted a lot of Nebraska and Wisconsin players. Like, a lot. Who's there? Uh, not Howard Russell. DeMar Jacobs went to South Carolina, I believe. Where did Pone Gardner go? Rutgers, that doesn't matter. J.W. Hilton. Went to Arizona. And I think Robeson is Oregon. He's A&M. We had a guy who went to Oregon. I don't know if he's on the team anymore, to be honest. Defensively, though, I'm telling you. A lot of Nebraska guys. Uh, Roman Pugh went to UCLA. Lawrence Thomas went to either Nebraska or Wisconsin. He went to Nebraska. Morris DuBose went to either Nebraska or Wisconsin. He went to Nebraska. The gear went to BYU. Uh, Patrick Wright went to Texas. A uh, guy that's not on the team anymore, Ellis Offord, went to Nebraska. Nate Benson went to Nevada. That's close enough. And then Tyrus Charlton, Ole Miss. But I, I don't know. You get the point. We've got, we got like three or four from there, which I feel like is kind of a lot. But we really need to win this game. Another primetime game, this time against the Bengals. We are third in the division at four and four. We need to start winning some games, man. Today, we need to beat the Bengals. 
this should not even be that close. We're a 91 overall. They're a 78. Hold on. Let me reassess here. Who would we play next week? The Packers? We might play the Packers in this episode. We might skim through this one. Because we're just a way better overall. I don't know. I feel like that'd be maybe more entertaining. Two games, kind of, in one episode. If we mow through this one, uh, we'll absolutely play the Packers in this episode for full game. So, see how things go. I gotta go to the bathroom. You guys didn't need to know that, but I do have to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna do a lot of skipping the moment in this one. And we'll jump in if we have to. We're just gonna let it play out. And uh, Kyle Aletta leading our team down the field. And, uh, I mean, it's... It's a pretty dominating performance so far. 21 nothing in the second quarter. Maybe 28 now. Give me 24 nothing. And uh, the Bengals can't really do much of anything. 31 nothing. It's going to be probably even more now. 38 nothing. Oh, the Bengals get on the board, but it is 45 to 7. More points now. We're mowing through this. 48 to 7 and then the game's over. Absolutely dominating performance by the Giants. It is a 91 overall against a 78. Yet we have the same record, or did going in. Laletta was dominant. 32 for 42, 397 and three touchdowns, no interceptions. Andy Dalton, the red rifle, uh, was jammed. 14 for 31, 151, zero touchdowns and interception. I wish he had more picks but maybe the pressure got there saquon was unbelievable 18 rushes 146 yards and two touchdowns sterling shepherd really led the way here nine for 126 and a touchdown saquon barkley had five catches for 80 yards and two touchdowns he is an unbelievable player francis Forsett, their left tackle led up three sacks their offensive line was not good will hernandez you, you're killing me a lot of tackles here today. Tackles for loss. Dalvin Tomlinson. Really? That's who got three sacks? Unreal. Dalvin Tomlinson going off. Roman Pugh with one and a half. One for Damon Harrison. One for Alex Espinosa. Half a sack for Lorenzo Carter. Jeez, dude. Interception for Derwin James. All right. He has played so well with our team. And then no defensive touchdowns. So, yeah. Dominating performance. Let's move on into Green Bay. Upgrades for Saquon, Dalvin Tomlinson, and Carlos Kershaw, who didn't do much of anything last game. And how do we even improve Saquon Barkley at this point? He's a 99 overall. With confidence, of course. With confidence. 97 overall otherwise. Where does he need improvement? You guys know I like to spin. He already can catch. It's either I think we're going to go elusive back here. Could go power. Might go power. Break tackle up would be nice. I think we're going to go with spin move, though. So let's go elusive. Let's hope that spin move gets upgraded. Doesn't. Plus two to elusiveness, though, is nice. I like that. That gives us, uh, what, 92 elusiveness? That's pretty big. Dalvin Tomlinson. We can go run stopper, but I think... Do we want to make him basically Damon Harrison 2.0? You know, that's not a half bad idea. He did get three sacks, though. We're going to go run stopper. Could go maybe, uh, like, power rusher next time. Plus one to block shed, pursuit, strength, and awareness. Not too bad. And a lot of players have upgrade points now. Okay. Derwin James. Probably going to focus on your zone coverage, maybe. So that's not... That's Carlos Kershaw. That's not Derwin James. How about... No. Everyone's Carlos Kershaw. I don't like that. All right, here's Derwin. First real look in a uh, Giants uniform. 91 zone. Yeah, let's get that zone coverage up. It's got to be zone. 95 overall now for Derwin James. Plus two to zone coverage. I love that. Love to see it. 93 zone. He is a beast. Will Hernandez. We're going to go into power. Fits the scheme. He goes up to an 85 overall. Hopefully power or should be pass block. It's in there. It, it doesn't just... Continues to make him a better run blocker. Oh, I guess he had pass block past that. We'll go Demar Jacobs, the new tight end, as a uh, vertical threat here. Blocking will get boosted anyway. I like that. Plus three to catching also isn't bad, as we've seen some wide open drops from him. 
So that's good. Aldrich Rosas, the kicker. What's your kick power? 93. Let's see if we can boost that. We'd be lucky to get it. It's probably just going to be awareness. It is just awareness. Plus three. Carlos Kershaw. Want to make him a power back. He's very slow. 87 speed, 87 acceleration. Feels so slow in game. He's not a great power running back, but if he gets a couple trucking upgrades here, plus two, it's not too bad. And then Kendall Newfeld has been unbelievable. He's been so good. We'll go power, and it'll probably just only be awareness. As it is, plus two. We also have even more upgrade points with that simulation. Not sure how we got them. I think it's probably weekly training. Alex Espinoza. Just an unbelievable rookie for us. I think we want to go into zone coverage, maybe. Which would be both. Pass coverage would boost that up. Makes him an 89 overall. Give me like a plus three to zone. would be so good. Plus two to man end zone. I like that a lot. 80 zone. 77 man. This is a pretty versatile player. Alex Espinoza was a very good pick for us. And BJ Goodson. You don't really do a lot that well. You tackle well, actually. I think it's a waste to upgrade his coverage at this point. He's not ever going to be that guy for us that comes in in, in coverage situations. So we'll just continue to boost what he's good at. And more scouting points. As we haven't done a whole lot of gameplay this episode. Uh, I'm going to check out wide receiver. Davian Keel, someone we like a lot out of Tennessee. Little light at six foot 178, but he's fast as hell from what we know. Uh, which was a scouting report. And Leonard Monroe looks pretty good too. Like, he looks really good. Ooh, Carter Goodrich out of New Mexico State. Slot type. He's 5'9", 204. Has awesome top three skills. That could be a draft steal. Unlike Antoine Veal. Gabe Gilbert's not too bad. Don't really love Jarrell Schultz. And that is all we have for right now. 1 p.m. game for MetLife. This one's going to be interesting. The uh, the Packers are decent. We have to face Aaron Rodgers. The key to this game is going to be putting pressure on the QB. If we can put pressure on Aaron Rodgers, we're going to stand a chance. At the end of the day, though, he is the best quarterback in the NFL, probably stat-wise. 21 touchdowns, only 6 interceptions. If we can even pick him off twice, I think that'd be fantastic. It's going to be... It's going to be tough. What, he had nine picks, something like that? No, he had six. So he's averaging less than one per game. It'll be interesting. All right, let's go, Big Blue. Need the Big Blue wrecking crew to come out and fall for us as Evan Ingram tries to hype up the offensive line for some reason. Ironically telling them to block better when he can't block at all. Cowboys 7-2, and two, Redskins 6-3. and three. This would be a huge victory over the Packers today since they're currently ahead of us in the wild card. We need to beat them. We need to beat them very, very badly. This could be our season on the line, effectively. Third and two. Randall Cobb might have come back. That might not be a first down. It's going to be fourth and inches. We hold tight against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers on the first possession of the game. Let's get it going on offense. Second and one. That's a sack fumble. Thankfully recovered by J.W. Hilton. They, I don't know how you don't expect a run on second and one after a nine-yard rush. That's very frustrating. Third and 11. Find Howard Russell. He drops the ball. Cool. That's a Jimmy Graham over the middle. I'd love to hit stick. But when they don't land, it, I mean, it's free extra yardage. Oh, no. It's going to be Aaron Jones. Green Bay driving here a little bit. First and 10 from the 26, about five minutes ago. Dalvin Tomlinson almost in the backfield. As I'm not even sure who ended up wrapping up Aaron Jones there. Oh, and I'm usering. I'm usering. That's got to be a pick. It's Landon Collins picking off Aaron Rodgers. And Corey Lindsley, their starting center, is down with an injury. But Landon Collins with his 20th career pick. And we are on offense now. That's how, that's how interceptions work, usually. That's open. We got Sterling Shepard. 
manages to hold on, keep his feet in bounds. Third down and two. I'm a little bit nervous to hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley. Because last week we were completely subdued. Well, I guess last video, two weeks ago. Could go to Odell Beckham on a quick out. We're going to. That's open. There's a toe drag in the first down. Here's a handoff to Saquon Barkley. He's going to break a tackle, stay up. Maybe he got the first down even. Might be third and inches. This is a great levels concept on the outside. Sterling Shepard or Evan Ingram will be wide open, depending on the coverage. Ah! Waited too long. That's my bad. Mike Daniels picks up the sack. That was worst case scenario for us. Was looking for chunk yardage, just couldn't make a decision. They came out in cover nine, which was like, ironically, the perfect call. I think any other defense would have had something open. Yet they randomly run cover nine and take that away. Oh, it's play action. One on one. Derwin James can't catch it. Come on, man. That's an easy pick. Randall Cobb almost caught it off the second deflection, but I need Derwin to come down with that. That's easy. That's got to be a sack. Espinoza on the blitz gets to Aaron Rodgers. We sent a lot of heat there. The play action was the worst thing they could have done. Our first sack on the game. And we've seen a couple of injuries for other teams. Yet, funnily enough, we have not seen one injury for the Giants since injury has been uh, back on the way it should have been for a while. Third and 17. I expect a check down here. I don't really expect Aaron Rodgers to try and pick this up. Hey, he's going to pick it up and more. Julius Manning can't bring him down. It's going to be Lorenzo Carter and Jalen Mills. What happened? We were in cover four. And the, the two deep zones were just not even close. That was Jalen Mills and Julius Manning. Jalen Mills specifically, he is terrible. I don't know why. His numbers are decent. Or his, his uh, attributes, I should say. He's just so bad over the top. Speed, maybe? I don't know. Get there. That's got to be a sack. Dalvin Tomlinson gets to Aaron Rodgers on third and nine. We'll make it fourth and 22. Our second sack of the game as a team. Like that. And we we'll get the football back. Still looking for our first points. We might even be able to get him here. Dubose to the outside. And uh, no. First and 10. I think we have Evan Ingram. It's going to be a good pass from Laletta. Dropping it in the bucket. Evan Ingram was matched up against a linebacker. You can't do that. We have outside. Oh, he might get over there. Russell. Despite having like 94 spectacular catch. I'm not sure. I've, I, I've seen him make maybe one of those the entire series. Which is disappointing. We're going to try another screen here. If they're in cover three, this will work really well. And I think they are. There's Russell. We're going to spin back through the block. We get forward progress. It's a pickup of 10. Easy first down. I like that. Another first down setup. We got Russell over the middle. Howard Russell touchdown. He doesn't get in the end zone all that often. Partly because he can't catch the ball ever. But finds the end zone this time for our first score of the game. Making it 7 0 New York Giants after uh, a lot of time. Four and a half minutes left to play in the first half. We'll see if Aaron Rodgers can answer. I hope he doesn't because we need a win. I don't want this to be close. We need to just steamroll them, it would be ideal. Here we are, we're back. That's a pick! Lorenzo Carter! What is Aaron Rodgers doing? Huge miscommunication there, I guess, with Jimmy Graham. Lorenzo Carter, the wall of Carter, with his third pick on the season. What was happening there? Just major miscommunication. What is going on? They're mixing it up as we're mixing it up. And uh, it's, they won the battle, I guess. Odell Beckham Jr. is wide open. What is Laletta doing? We maybe have a touchdown there, and now we maybe don't even have a first down or points at all. Do we want to play the field goal here? 
I don't think so. Wide open over the middle. It's Odell. He's got pretty good speed to the outside. Connects for the miss time. Come on, Lillard. I need him to be better. We're going to end up having to settle for three. I feel like this drive was a just a complete missed opportunity. And my, my kick arc is back. I like that. Maybe the title update or the update uh, fixed that. So I'm a big fan to see that on all Madden. We're in zone coverage. Something's going to be open, and that is... Franklin's going to step out of bounds, though. He definitely had more uh, capability for more yards. We'll see if Green Bay manages to convert now. That's a missed opportunity. Coleman Pugh's been struggling against David Bakhtiari today. And that's going to go underneath Randall Cobb. I mean, there's just nothing there. This defense is locked down. And I should have called a timeout. They're going to punt immediately, though. It's probably Michael Dixon. Morris DuBose is back to return. That's not, probably not Michael. That's probably Riley Dixon, former giant punter. That's a good pass. Odell steps out of bounds. We can still score. This is not, you know, a missed opportunity. They were trying to get us to run the ball to the half after the sack. I'm just not really about that. I think we can do better. I think we can score. There's Howard Russell. He's having a pretty good game today. Can't get out of bounds, though. We're going to call a timeout. Our first of the half. First and ten. Oh, we maybe had square. That's it. Ah! It's intercepted by Gier Alexander. It's not where I wanted the ball. The under pressure throw just made it so bad. Damn it, man. Bad decision either way. But that's obviously not where I wanted the ball. Why? Dude, Green Bay's not using their timeouts. They have two of them. This is where the CPU logic is so bad in Madden. Because they're going to leave points on the board here. They're not getting in the end zone. I'll guarantee you that. They're going to go underneath with no time left in the half. CPU awareness is so bad. I know I'm complaining that they didn't score there, but like, it ruins my video to an extent. Ruins my franchise experience when the CPU has utter lack of any type of knowledge for the situation. Two timeouts, 10 seconds. They don't call either timeout. They also choose not to go deep with no time. That's like being down by two, or being, excuse me, being down by three in an NBA game with two seconds on the clock and holding onto the ball. Or, or excuse me, it's more like as we have maybe Sterling Shepard there. It's like being down by three and settling for a layup as time expires. It's just unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. If that would have been intercepted, I would have freaked out. We tried to hit Howard Russell like almost immediately on the out. It's unbelievable we couldn't get that ball off. Blitzing. They're blitzing. I'm trying to get it to Saquon. He's on a block and release, didn't release. Another sack. This time it's Justin Jones. I might try a screen here. Let's try to pick up a few yards if we can. Is it worth a deep shot? No, probably not. We'll see if they cover the screen. They didn't. They didn't at all. They didn't at all. Come on! Get out of the way. Offensive line is so slow. Puts us in field goal range, though, and we're going to try the 52-yarder, and we're going to hit it perfectly. Aldrich Rosas. Oh, my God, the wind blew it that far left. Oh, my, I can't catch a break, man. Third and inches. This is why we have a beefy defensive line. Come down. We're going to run commit middle. Make the play. It's play action. That's very bad for us, but OV saves us. The man coverage down the field was absolutely perfect. Olivier Vernon gets his 70th career sack. Our third is a team on the game. Unbelievable stuff there. That is a good punt, too. Down at the one. That's that's bad for us. Riley Dixon making us pay. Is it Riley? It might be another Dixon. I don't know. Seems like there's so many of them. And Saquon fumbles and Green Bay recovers. 
Wow, Matt Ioannidis on the recovery. What is going on in this game? Rodgers rolling out. Breaks a sack. Breaks another sack. Oh, I'm about to freak out. Rodgers rolling out. Somebody get after him. Lorenzo Carter brings him down. Thank you. Aaron Rodgers is just doing whatever he wants this game. But we, I know he has two picks. But he really has played well. One of the interceptions was uh, just like it was weird. I don't know what happened. And I can't remember how the first one went. But geez, dude. We got to sack him. We, we can't give up opportunities. He has all time to throw. What a play by Landon Collins. Green Bay is going to get on the board with a field goal. And thankfully uh, from our miss by Audrey Rosas, uh, it's going to be only a one touchdown game for them. Play action. Who's open? Thought Saquon was. He gets hit from behind. Ball gets popped up into the air and ha ha Clinton Dix with an interception. Oh my god, man. What is happening? This is an interesting game so far. It really is. We've subdued the Packers for the most part. Again, this is probably the best defense in the NFL, 99 overall defense, that is. So I'm not shocked when we shut teams down a little bit, but we got to make them pay. We can't let them back in the game, and we do. They convert on third and nine. They're down to the two-yard line. And now we got to figure out uh, how to stop them from scoring. Coming out of a gun here. This is a weird setup. They could run the ball here. Go with an inside zone. They're not. They're going to pass. Quickly, it's picked off by Landon Collins. His second of the game. Unbelievable play by Landon Collins to save us there from what was sure to be Green Bay points. And we still can't run the ball. It's going to be third and 13. We just can't run the ball. I'm trying. We just can't do it. I need time here. Just give me time to throw. We got to throw that quick. Sterling Shepard holds on. He was just wide open. I wasn't going to risk the open receiver. They converge on it quickly, though, and they stop us from picking up the first. We're going to punt the ball back. I know not a great offensive series. Obviously, I'm aware of this. Rodgers has all day, and he's picked off by Jalen Mills. Give me a block. What is going on this game? Aaron Rodgers struggling heavily. That is his fourth interception today. Yikes. Huh. I'd almost rather go up the middle. Just follow the fullback. Saquon came close. He got it. He didn't get it. Jeez. We got to take the points here. I wish we didn't have to, but we have to take the points here. 13-3. It's a two-score game again. A little over a quarter to play. We got to step up. These interceptions are killing us. Thank God our defense is unstoppable. Dallas on the bottom ticker goes up 21-10. We need Dallas to beat Washington so we can like guarantee a wild card spot eventually. I don't think we're going to win the division at this point. As that is open and a huge hit. Forced fumble by Derwin James who recovers. The defense continues to dominate. First of all, there's no way he caught that. But it, that's a weird thing that's been going on in Madden the past couple years. That's not reviewable. So even though there's no way he caught that, there's no way that's a fumble. It's, it should be an incomplete pass. We have the ball and I'm not complaining. How do you beat this defense, man? You really can't. Even Aaron Rodgers is struggling heavily today. So many turnovers. And that is as open as open can be. Shepard tries to juke back. Haha, -ha, Clinton Dix is not having it. It's still a super close game. A touchdown here makes it a lot less close. We'd love that. Second and three. Let's dive. Follow the fullback. Saquon, stay up. Down to the one. We're going to move into the hurry up. We're going to run ISO again. 
Defensive line is really, really sacking the box here. Or the entire defense is. Odell diving catch, touchdown. Let's get it. What are you doing, Odell? Taping up. I I don't know what to make of that celebration. I really don't. It's gonna be 20 to 3. 10 10 to play. Green Bay can't get it going. I, I think what I'd like to do is they're going to go for it on fourth down. I had heard that when in the sliders, the coverage like goes the opposite way. So the worst coverage you would have, it, like the higher it goes. And I, I think our coverage is really, really, really tight. Maybe too tight. And I would rather it be less tight, even though that would mean less interceptions and and things like that. I think it'd be a better overall game with worse coverage because we are just pretty unstoppable. And we get to the ball so quickly. That's wide open though. Randall Cobb wrestled down by the rookie out of Texas. Green Bay moving here. That's gonna be one on one. And Devontae Adams makes the catch. Derwin James brings him down at the one, but Jalen Mills, despite the interception today, has been destroyed by Devontae Adams. Seven catches for 111, as you guys just saw. We're going to do that. They're going to throw. And wide open. Touchdown. Green Bay finally on the board with a TD. It's going to be Franklin as they are only down by 10. About six minutes left to play. Let's try to kill the clock. Oh, here's DuBose. Speed up the middle. This should do it. Morris DuBose, kick return, touchdown. His second on the season, that one, a huge one. That should be the ball game. He is a huge playmaker for us. That's a sack, it's a sack fumble. Recovered by David Bakhtiari and he's still going. Roman Pugh was the guy in the backfield to get, uh, knock the ball loose and bring down Aaron Rodgers. We'll be third and nine. And the game is certainly on the line in this drive. All right. This defense just swarms, man. It is exciting and fun for me. I love defense. And he had all time there, but it's picked off by Lorenzo Carter. That is ball game, his second on the game. Jeez, man, what is up with Aaron Rodgers? One fumble this season, that was this game. That was this game for Saquon. But that is a touchdown. As uh, the blowout really starting to happen here. Saquon Barkley serving up in the soup kitchen. And it is 34 to 10 now, pending the extra point, which uh, we're gonna kick straight through the uprights. There it is. And uh, a, little, a little bit off center, but 34 10. I don't see Green Bay coming back. He's going deep. And what a play by Landon Collins to rip the ball out. Might have to turn up uh, CPU catching, to be honest, as well. A couple good slider uh, things we've learned from this episode. Another pass being ripped out by Julius Manning. Green Bay is tough to watch right now. And that is going to be your ball game. We're going to beat the Green Bay Packers 34-10. to And we do have some slider changes to make for next game uh, to make this even harder. Because this, this game was not hard at all. The defense, which is a 99 overall. Remember that. They played like 110 overall this game. They were very, very good. So we need to tone that down just a little bit. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.